Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Sean Sweeney, and I'm here with a special video, and I'm just going to uh, show you guys some stuff to do if you're selling uh, high-end items on eBay, and like I'm talking like very extremely high-end items. Um, this is one of my one of my most expensive cards, and this is how I keep it. I have it in my uh, my safe, and uh, it is one of the rarest cards I have in my collection, other than some T206s, but um, this, this card is very rare, it's very difficult to find, it has four of the greatest players ever to play the game in, you know, our modern time, and, um, it's numbered to 25, and, uh, and I'll show you to you, I got this about 10 years ago at a card shop, and, uh, I've had it ever since, and I hardly, I don't take it out too often, so, um, as you can see how it's wrapped. Uh, this is how I keep it. I don't ever take it out. I took it out uh, to take pictures of it, and that was like not too long ago. But other than that, I don't really take it out of this plastic too often. And uh, I know I wrap stuff up pretty good, don't I? So, like, what the hell is this card? Well, this guy's got this much stuff on it. Let's see. Now, there's only another person who has this card. Um, posted and I went by what they were posting it and I have seen it even higher than that before believe it or not and the cheapest I've ever seen it sell for was 5,000 so I have seen this on the internet in the last 10 years only about three times so it is like I said the one of the rarest cards and I have a double plastic you know just to make sure that this card uh, doesn't get scratched or anything like that and I'm taking it out and this is the reason why I am uh, telling you, uh, giving, sharing you some experience. When you sell stuff really, really expensive, it's best if you have a YouTube channel to go ahead and make a video of this card or whatever you're selling so people know exactly what you're selling and what it looks like and the condition it's in so that there's no discrepancies or anything like that on what they're going to get. And uh, I have never really taken this out of this container. I have a penny sleeve on top of it, so we're gonna be very gentle and take care of really, very depth. I put a penny sleeve on top of these cards, so one, it doesn't scratch the surface, and two, it, uh, you know, it don't mess up the fabric, but also when you take it out, you can put your finger there, and as I said, be very difficult, especially with very high-end items, and you're gonna put your penny sleeve there, and this card right here is, um, you guys can look it up, on the, on the internet, I'll leave a description of it. I don't even want to tell you what it's selling for um, or what it's going for right now. And it's only going to go up in value because what you have here is numbered 18 out of 25. These are actual game worn jerseys. These are It's a quad jersey. You have LeBron, Le, LeBron James with the Cavs. And you have Kobe Bryant with the Lakers. You have Derek Jeter with the Yankees. And you have... Ken Griffey Jr. with the Mariners. And you can see this card is in immaculate condition for its age and especially fabric cards. They do not do well fabric cards uh, as far as grading. But this card I think would grade very high. There's not much. Uh, it, you know, like I said, I've never taken it out of that case. And what I do is... uh. What I do is um, put hang sleeve on top, like I said, so the card does not get ruined or anything like that. So, to potential buyers, whoever's looking at this, uh, can you make your own decisions on what you think it's worth and offer or whatever? But um, there is this is one of the rarest cards that's out here. It's UD Spokesman 2009 upper deck ballpark spokesman and it has four of the greatest players of our time and god bless kobe and uh this was in 2009 the first kind of editions they started doing these types of things they started doing them in the early 2000s but it was this was really the big one everybody was going after this card this was like a promotional card this was the big card to go after and i don't believe jordan was on any of these it's it's kobe and and derek i mean and kobe and um and LeBron or Kobe and uh, and Crosby, they're a little bit more, but it's not this. This is the 
the rare one and that's why it's numbered in gold stamp 18 out of 25 you see it kind of see it and as I say I don't touch anything like this it's expensive without gloves and if you're selling anything like this and people try to uh, let me try to get where the camera's at so you can see the number don't let people touch your stuff without gloves on especially like jeers and stuff I've seen it at car shops and they will ruin your stuff intentionally so they can get it cheaper they'll say oh look at this mark yeah you just made it you know what I mean anyway it's hard to see it on the camera but it is right there it's 18 out of 25 it is gold I'm going to put this back into this one touch and uh, very, very careful. And put this nicely back on top of it. Matter of fact, since I got it open, I am going to put a new penny suit on there because it's just really easy to do that. And it's, that way it's new. And it's good to change those out once in a while. If you're going through your cards, I keep a lot of my favorite cards in one touches. I do send cards out to get graded, as everybody knows. I do use a variety of different companies to get graded. And um, usually, if you keep these things nice, the only the only problem, not problem, but the only thing will be this like a that to keep that smooth. And like I said, I always use two bags. On these they've been in it you know just put it in one like that fold it over nicely then you got that right there so in one touch right I mean in a in, for the one touch sleeves then the opposite direction see how that goes like that and then put that like that matter of fact I'm changing that one because that was in uh you know wrapped up like that so and I don't like the way that looks so the other one looks better. This one doesn't look so nice. It doesn't. I know people like, oh, Sean, it looks perfect to you. I mean, whatever. No, it, if it's not the way I, I want things clean, uh, I like my cards clean like that. And if I'm buying older vintage cards, I understand that there's admiralities and stuff like that. And there's dirts on them and stuff. I understand that. But this is a uh, fairly new. I mean, it's over 10, almost 10 years old. But actually, it is 11 years old. So... For that, for that card to be, you know, 12 years old or whatever, almost, it's in very, very good condition. I mean, it's excellent condition, actually. And as I said, fabric cards are not the easiest to get graded, but even if this came back a nine, you'd be looking at a way more than it's, uh, it is on the internet uh, for uh, not being graded. Uh, even uh, if it came back at 8.5, which I highly doubt it, it should be higher than that. Um... Uh, that's my opinion. These are some of the older um, pieces I use for my giveaways. And then I have a new one right here, which I just used. So, put that there. And uh, that's, I guess, get new stuff here. I got new stuff I use. Anyway, that is how I do it. And then I will use my wrap. This will be for box or something I will use my wrap again and I will go ahead and wrap this up very nicely and this will go back in my safe with my tape that I will put on it but for right now we will just do it like that and I use blue tape because it's much easier to pull off and uh, the potential customer will have know that it's been safe and that also they can get access to it quicker so that's my advice to you and I'll leave a link down uh, to um, show you what this card is, what value that, and what it's selling for. And it's my advice to all my friends and family that post high-end things on YouTube. If you have a YouTube channel or even a uh, Facebook, you should uh, you should make a video of that card or whatever item it is, uh, so the customer can see what it looks like. And then, if there's any discrepancies, you will be able to, uh, you know verify that that's your item and that uh or whatever they did to it what it's just better to do it that way and then the customer mainly so the customer can see the condition of what they're buying especially when you're looking at a lot of money uh people want to know what they're buying they're not here physically 
to see it or touch it or any of that. So having a video, they can kind of see what it looks like. It's an excellent car. You see how you take care of stuff. And everybody knows me and how I am with my channel. They know that I keep take very good care of my products and everything that I pull and everything I sell is meant or I describe it better than no like if it's not I will tell you about it and if you just look for a card for your set most likely I won't even sell it if it's in bad condition I will just give it to you because uh I just don't like selling things that aren't new or like new type things unless they're vintage vintage baseball cards that we can get authenticated legit and then I can deal with that but other than that that's how I do it I appreciate everybody watching Later today, we're getting a laptop, and uh, we just had a little things going on, so that's why I couldn't do the contest, but we will do the contest. But um, for right now, I just wanted to let you guys know, when you're selling high-end things, please make a video of it, show what the product looks like, that way customers buy it. Believe me, you will save yourself a lot of heartache, and especially if people know that you have a media, a social media outlet, they would be less likely to take advantage of you or to do bad business with you. So, there's my opinion on it. This is how I do things. And I appreciate everybody watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. So, until next time, keep doing what you're doing. Enjoy doing it. And know God loves you.